Alright, so, I already cut it open. Because it takes too long, actually, it didn't take me that long. So, what do I have in the box? I haven't even looked at it, I just cut it open. You want to know what I got in the box? Blown up balloon hot dogs. Mm, it's so good. You know what, at least it's not bubble wrap this time. Now I gotta make a mess with all this shit. Gonna put it down. Oh. Oh my god. You know, before I take it out, back in one of my other reviews about a month ago, I did the uh, King Goji Bandai 62 Godzilla. And I talked about the other version of that figure that I wanted to get. And I would eventually be hunting them down. It just so happens I got that figure along with the other ones all in one fell swoop. And I locked out like a, like a bandit. It is, <clears throat> don't mind me, I still got a cold. It is, oh my god, the Bandai 40th Anniversary Memorial Box Set. Okay, sorry, that took too long. Oh my god. This box is in mint condition. Okay, I have, I, oh my god, I am so excited right now. You guys are not gonna, you just have no idea. You have no idea. Here's the front, it's got the artwork for Godzilla's Destroyer. Memorial box. On the side, it's got movie posters. More movie posters. Godzilla Memorial Box Set, and the epic artwork from Godzilla 1984. Dutch will love this, but, you know, he's got the real stuff. He's got, Dutch has got the real posters, okay? So, I am in complete amazement here. I don't even know how to open this. Oh, oh I figured it out. Okay, see, so I got all this, I, I, there's 14 figures in this, guys. So, this is my first time seeing this. I have not opened this yet. I have not seen it. I have only seen these figures in uh, G-Fest, at G-Fest, either or online, or um, being a little stubborn. Alright, take a moment here. And I will say, it's even got the handle. I've heard, you know, it's it's hard to even get these with the handle. Let's see. This was originally sold at Toys House 1940s. It must be the store in Japan. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna press pause, I'm gonna take these all out, and then we'll continue from there. We'll be right back after these messages. Alright, so, got all the figures out, out of the bags, out of the box. Oh, the first thing I want to say is about the box. The box is in pretty damn good condition. See, it's pretty good. It's the full box. It ha came with the, uh, I guess, the warning label in there. It's got the gold Toho Godzilla license sticker. And it's got the handle, which is perfectly intact. Um, and this is so awesome that it came with the box in great condition. I think there's one little nick on this side, but you know what? For a box set that's, what is this, 95? That is uh, 18 years old. This box is in very good condition. I don't even think the owner ever displayed none of these guys because the paint jobs are immaculate. Every one of these figures is in like mint condition. And there's not a speck of dust on any of them. And the one that you'd be able to find probably easiest if that dust on it would be either Batra or Godzilla 62. And my gosh, let me tell you what, this figure is beautiful. Sporting a dark, dark vinyl compared to the 83 King Goji, which is in green vinyl. This is just amazing. This looks great. And um, I'm almost, I don't even know which one I like better, the Forever Series Goji, King Goji, or this one. I'm just, 
in total awe right now with this one. This one looks amazing. Um, but all these figures are in mint condition. The only problem is is that if some of them are having some warped issues, which I've been working on, Mechagodzilla's foot. Um, you know, if anybody has a pan that Mechagodzilla, you know what it's like. These figures don't really stand that well, especially if the feet are a little finagled. So I've been working on that with a hair dryer. Right now I just got them propped up with two Coke bottle cans, bottle caps, you know, so it's working pretty good. Um, Megalon looks great. Angurus, Angulus, whichever you want to call him, sporting silver highlights on his spikes on his back with a much lighter brown compared to the, um, actually that's, that's a different kind of brown, it's more like a chocolate brown, this is more like a cinnamon brown, I don't know. Um, Gigan, sporting the blue vinyl, and, and this is what I'm talking about, there is like no damage on the hooks on his hands. I don't know how well you can see, but it's okay. Um, take my word for it. There's maybe, let's see, one little mark. Two, two little marks. But, I mean, you find me a guy again figure. Oh, there's a little mark on the nose, too. That's all right. This is, this is, in, this is in great condition for, for this box set. Toes. Toes look good. Batra. I'm a big Batra Larva fan. I mean, mainly, whoops, sorry. Mainly because Batra Larva, the standard Bandai was my first. Bandai Godzilla figure. Space Godzilla is looking amazing. His um, shoulder crystals, no paint wear. None whatsoever. And it looks great. A little paint rub on one of these dorsal fins there. That's okay. It's alright. I'm, I'm not really complaining. This set is amazing. Hedra. This one stands out to me for another reason. This whole set stands out to me. Ah! He's got some blue vinyl highlights to him in the front compared to the standard that came out, the standard 8 inch with the tag, it was mostly like metallic gray, but this one's beautiful. It's just amazing. Sorry if it sounds stuffy, like I said, I'm sick. Rodan, sporting a bit of a different paint scheme. The standard's got some yellow highlights, this has got silver highlights on the stomach and on the back area. It's just amazing. This is really amazing. How many times? It's amazing. Here's the uh, warning. It says, warning. 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 Awesomeness involved. Not only did I get the, all the figures, and a pretty good uh, mint box. I'm sorry, it's not mint. I, I think it's, it's in great condition. I got all the cards. It came with all the cards. That this set is comes with all of them, man. I lucked out. So, um, back when this came out in '95, you know, dealers would break this up, sell the figures individually. I mean, you go to you go online, you go to G Fest, the conventions, you'll see these figures sporadically, you know, on dealers' tables. But you, you know, it's going to be hard to find a complete set. And then, um, according to Vinyl Man, it's Gene's page. I always reference Gene because I've been going on that site for years. I can't remember how at least what is it, 2000. At least 10 years, probably longer than that, since whenever he started it. But, um, you know, he stated there that, um, actually, I think Gene, Jordan, and uh, Brandon all helped him with that page. Anyways, Jordan! Jordan Twitty! I got that shout out! I told you I'd get you! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so dealers would take the tags. Like, here we got Space Godzilla. They would punch a hole in the tag and then attach it to the figure. Yeah, I, you don't do that. That's, that's just ridiculous. R now, you, now you ruined it. So, I'm going to tell you how much I paid for this bad boy. I got this off Yahoo Japan like a week before. Ooh, keep hitting that damn thing. Uh, not, I think actually the week of G-Fest off Yahoo Japan for 100, let's see, it was 18,300 yen. That's about $183. $183! There was a couple guys that I saw bidding. You know, one of them is an eBay dealer, seller, whatever. I know, whatever, but I'm like, come on, I know this guy's going to, you know, bid me up. But nobody bid the last hour. I was the highest bidder at 18,300 yen, 183 bucks. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So time's ticking down. It's got the uh, auto extension, which sucks on Yahoo Japan. I hate that goddamn auto extension's bullshit. But um, it ended. No auto extension. No other bidders. I won it. I'm like, this is too good to be true. I'm like, you know, it's got the box, it's got all the figures, 
It's got the cards. I'm like, this is impossible. So after at, at the end of the day, because I like, shop in Mall Japan um, with the commission and the shipping, it cost me about three hundred dollars total. That is still a killer deal. Uh, it, to me, it's worth the value because this is amazing. I never thought I was going to have this set, and I got it. So I'm super excited. And guys, if, uh, if you have any questions, comment on the uh, comment on the video. Hit me up in the discussion section on uh, YouTube. You know, because I like to check that. So if you guys got anything, just message me. Put it up. Whatever. Let me know. Um, I'm so excited. I'm going to go put these on my shelves now. Woo! All right. I'll check you later. Boom! Bye!